Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Casper Site. This is a Q&A. Finally, I promised you guys it was going to be on the 2,000 subscribers. However, um, it, it went up after 2,000 so quickly. By the time I actually went, got round to doing it, um, it was like two and a half thousand. So I thought, well, it's pointless now doing it. So I'll wait for the 3,000. And here we are with the 3,000. So. Sorry for the wait, um, and thank you very much for all of the comments that came in, because one, originally as well, I, I didn't have many questions, and then once I actually put that video up of saying thanks a lot for 2,000 subscribers, comments started coming in, and going into other videos as well, so thank you very much. So, um, I've had to sort of narrow it down a bit. Some of them are, are like the same as other people have, have said, so I've just tried to break it down a bit. So, for the first one, here we go. This is from, and I also have found the names of 99% of them, so fantastic stuff. So, first person is Ash Mr. 3. Hi Casper, I was wondering uh, about which software you use to edit your videos. Now, there's one thing you need to know about me, okay? I built my PC. But I built it through Googling and research and things like that. So I'm pretty clued up when it comes to me actually researching things and, and breaking things down and, and doing it myself like that. However, when it comes to certain software and things like that, I ain't got a clue, man. I ain't got a clue. So what did I do? Just Googled. Best free software for recording. And OBS was like... Um, I think it was like the top three or something like that. So um, I've been using OBS. So um, that for me is, and that stands for Open Broadcast. I even have to read it, Open Broadcaster Software. And for me, that is brilliant. I, I've tried that f Fraps. Now, I thought Fraps was just something that you can record your frames per second. I, I tried to um, record stuff on it, and I, I didn't. I, I just got lost. So this um, OBS is the best one for me. I mean, you can you can record like just the monitor. You can record Windows directly into the game. Obviously, stream. It's it's brilliant. It is bloody brilliant, and uh, for free as well. It, it's unreal. So that's that one. Now, uh, second question: Ryan Eaton won. Can you do a lime, a lime stream? Yeah, I'll do a lime stream as well as a lemon stream. But also, I'll try to do a live stream of Case Animatronics, please. Yes, I will. Now, the reason I didn't, I stopped doing Case Animatronics um, uploads is because I literally got stuck for about three hours. Just uh, my my video camera was going on and on and on. My hard drive was just going. I can't cope with this. It was like three hours of me just wandering around, getting killed over and over and over again. And of course, that's three hours of me commentating. And I just thought, like, fuck it, I ain't gonna do it. Leave it. And um, so yes, I will be doing. <laughs> I will be doing a live stream. The reason being is because you guys help me out so much when it comes to the live streams, it's unreal. I mean, just look at sort of um, amnesia. You know, I was in the same situation there, but you guys helped me and we got through it. So thank you very much. So oh, yes, I will be doing that. Absolutely. Um, third question. This is from Chamily Chamily 2 Will you do a shirtless horror game video? Probably not. I don't know what my wife would say about that. If I did, I would probably have to sort of accidentally, on purpose, like, spill coffee over me. You know, like the scene from Ghost. Just sort of like, oh, 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 sorry, I might just have to take off my top and carry on with the game. So, unfortunately, and probably fortunately for you guys, I will not be doing a, uh, a talk. Maybe if I get, I might have to speak to the missus and I buy a bunch of flowers and, and, and just massage her feet and stuff and say, look, sweetheart, you know, my subs want me to do a, a topless video and you know, what, what can I do? The subs are, you know, they mean, they mean a lot to me and maybe she will. So maybe when I get to a million subscribers or something like that, yeah, I'll do it. Sod it. Okay, so, um... The next question is from Shadow Humonculus. That's a brilliant name. Why did you pick the name? Wow, what a question. 
My mum asked me this question as well. It is a bit confusing, isn't it? Casper Sight. There is a lot that goes into the name. Um, for me, as well, I should say, the, the name Casper means a lot to me. And I'll tell you why. This is a long one. I'll try to break it down as quickly as I can. When I was younger, a lot younger, probably around about 16 years old, 17 years old, I used to do tarot card reading and like meditations and stuff. I wasn't some sort of hippie jippy, yeah, although there's nothing wrong about being a hippie jippy, but um, my mum was just so, and she still is, so into it. She's got me into this tarot card reading, right, and apparently I was really good at it. And I could like read the, the cards well, and I used to do this for people, and they would be like, "Oh my God, you know, you know everything. It's so good, blah blah." blah. And when I got, and then it got to a certain stage, um, I I decided, well, I didn't decide. I felt like, was this real? Was I really giving people? images or thoughts about what's going to happen and what they're feeling now or am I just someone who can read people really well and the moment I started doubting myself I just I just stopped it I just I, I thought no I can't do this and um, the older I got the more and more I sort of stopped believing in that sort of side of things for me you know and um, and of course but around that time like the film Casper came out as ghosts spirits things like that so I and and the name Casper I quite like the name Casper right so then as I got a little bit older um, I started getting fully into skateboarding like unbelievable I, I woke up in the morning went skateboarding I went to work came back went skateboarding had something to eat went out went skateboarding you know and uh, one of my like you know the idols for skateboarding was Rodney Mullen and Rodney Mullen came up and he's like the godfather of skateboard and he came up with this this move called Casper alright it was basically where the board here's your wheels and it flips over like that and he would slide along the, the, the tail or just sort of like go into it and flip it around just amazing stuff absolutely incredible stuff now I, I live in a small town in Cornwall and um, I was pretty much the only person that could do this Casper alright um, whenever I did this trick, people were like, oh my god, you just did a Casper! Woo! And all this sort of stuff. And I used to do tricks out of the Casper in, in, into the Casper and different stuff like that. So that was that. And also, so that made me like the name Casper even more. And then I had a, a group of friends that, we all had nicknames. We were, we were called like the Justice League. And um, my nickname was the Casper for some reason. Justice League's got nothing to do with Casper, but I wanted to be called Casper, and that was the name given Casper. I know you should never pick your own nickname, but I did, because I loved it so much. So there was, the, there was Casper. This is going on. I'm starting to bore myself here, man. And then um, the, the sight is like ghost vision. I'm able to see maybe ghosts, visions of ghosts and spirits and stuff like that. Um, and also I thought, great, you know, with the Oculus Rift, vision, Casper Sight. Fucking genius or what, man? Eh? Tell me what you think. Horseshit, Ben. Okay, so that's, that's that. There you go, Shadow. Next question. What did you do before YouTube? That's from Michael Cameron. Now, um, before YouTube... Well, I'm still currently employed. Um, but before before that, I was a plasterer. I was a self-employed plasterer for six years. Loved that job. My dad, uh, in fact, taught me how to plaster, um, and I loved it. It was great to go and visit different places around Cornwall. You know, have a have, walk into a house where it's just looking like crap, and then just make it great again. Fantastic. Before that, I had a lot of retail experience, like managerial uh, positions and things like that. Not majorly right to the top, but um, yeah, it, that, that's the sort of stuff I, you know, I did. Um, so the next question is from Cora Morrissey. What does your wife say about all the screaming you do? <laughs> that's a bloody brilliant question. Um, my wife, she sort of, at first when I started doing this YouTube... She thought, what the hell am I doing? 
you know, and um, there is actually one video where she really panicked. She thought something was up with me, like, you know, really bad. And it was um, the double whammy video of where um, it's the 360 VR, I'm in a lift, and then the I just thought of the ring, and I got paranoid. This is getting a little bit scary, because the moment I start thinking about the ring and stuff, I become all of a sudden sort of conscious of things. Anyway, and I can watch the film. I can watch the film, piece of piss. I haven't watched it in a while though. I'm going off track. Anyway, so that video, where the, 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 the door's open and she's like that and she, she runs towards you. And then it all goes black and then she's there in front of me and I'm, I'll scream my head off. That there, it, you, if you watch the video, you'll, you'll, you'll hear, I had to actually download some audio software to bring the audio down a bit because the scream that came was horrifying and it was so loud that like you guys watching it would have been your earphones would have just blown up you know and it would have been piercing so I had to buy you'll, you'll hear it you'll hear a little dip where I had to squash down the audio that was the one time where my missus just went shit I think that you know he's he's hurt or you know he's in a proper panic mode here but other than that she just lets me get on with it you know um and now it gets to a stage where i finish recording i, I go out of the room and she's like all right sweetheart you know what you know what we're gonna do now and and that's it so she doesn't you know she knows what i'm like anyway she knows that i'm sort of like quite um an extrovert type of person so uh, yeah it's a great question but no she's fine with it you know she's good um now, this is the one question that I didn't know who asked me. It was, who influenced you to do YouTube? Now, I can only sort of go by my subscriber, who I've got as subscribers. Subscribers. So I suppose that's like Dashy. When I watched Dashy um, <laughs> playing his games, the first one I saw, it just made me laugh even seeing it, is when he's, going, he's doing this puzzle game where he's got to flip the thing upside down. And he keeps on hitting the bars because it's just basically travelling forward. And he's like a little dot or something like that. And he's flipping, flipping, flipping. And, you know, I was actually in tears of laughter, you know. And I just thought, if I could sort of entertain people like that, it would just be absolutely amazing. And, um, you know, the other people that I subscribe to is Jack Septicai. You know, he, he's fantastic. I love that guy. Um, but not really, no one really has made me go, do you know what, I want to do that, that's what I want to do for the rest of my life, you know, it, that wasn't my intention to do this, it wasn't, it was, um, it's becoming that, it's, you know, if I can actually do this as a career, my God, I'm the happiest person alive, my intention to do this was just to, just to give it a go, you know, just to, for me to make, to, to, to know that someone out there is smiling, laughing, or at least being just entertained, just makes me feel so bloody good. And, um, you know, the more response I get back, and I'm thinking, do you know what, I'm actually, I love playing games, I'm a bit of a show off anyway, so I'm thinking, well, this is fantastic. You know? And, yeah, it's the subscribers. It sounds really like, again, I can, you keep on using the word cliche, but it is. You guys just make it for me, you know? What the, the comments and the likes and everything that you, you do just makes it so... It just gives me that energy and, and, and push to keep on going. So, you know, you sort of influence me, you know, it, it, to do the YouTube. That, that's it. Because um, I'm my own person. I don't want to copy anybody, yeah? And this is the one thing that I promised myself when I did this YouTube. I'm just going to be me. And if people like me for being me, then this is going to be a piece of piss. Because if I started off being something other than that, other than myself, it would be very difficult to keep that up. If I'm having a bad day or something, and I'm, I'm uh, coming in and I'm going... Whoosh! Morning to you laddies, or whatever you know, Jack Septicai does. It, it, this just ain't me. That's just not me, you know. Um, so yeah, that, there we go. So I would say influence is you are the influence for me to do YouTube. 
Okay, dokie. Right, okay, so the next question. Will I be doing uh, passing, pine through, passing Through Pine Forest again? That was from Riley Cullen. You know, that, that game, man, um, that game is so basic, it scared the crap out of me. And it got frustrating. But I think I will be doing that. I will be, because I noticed on, St um, on Steam tonight, in fact, that there's like a, a prequel to it as well, which is really quite interesting. But I think what I'll do is I might do that on a stream, um, because I've done a couple of videos on it, and I always get to the same place, and I don't want to bore you guys. But um, So Riley, I will be doing it, but it'll probably be on a stream, and I'll let you know via Facebook or Twitter or wherever you're following us on, okay? Um, right, next question. Hi mate, I was wondering how did you go about starting your online store? That's from Ash Gillum. My online store, right, okay, wow. My online store, I started, I had a little bit of money, like a, a little bit. Um, I would say probably about a thousand pounds. And um, I've got this a love for Marvel and DC. Yeah, the comics, you know, the comic books, and although I don't really, it's more so the films, you know, and the whole concept of superheroes doing things that normal people can't do. It's just amazing. And Batman is my favourite character of all. Yeah, I know, sorry about the Superman fans out there. Yeah, he's probably my second, but Batman, he's the dude for me. Okay, so I got this thousand pound. I was like, right, I want to, I've got a knowledge of retail, you know know about product margins and things like that. So I approached a company and I got these made for me. I got a load of these, Hulks. Yeah, you might have seen them. So I bought those and I started selling them on eBay. And then I made a profit and then I bought some Batmans with the profit and then after that I bought some Spider-Men and started selling them and with the profit I started then buying little bits like you know the smaller the lower price things and and built on there and just basically I made a point of never ever using my profit for my own personal use all the profit that I made would go back into more stock back into more stock so I was not gaining anything it was hard work you know um, but then it sort of snowballed and snowballed, and then I moved over to um, Amazon. Not so much on Amazon anymore. But then I just thought, you know what, I'm quite creative when it comes to, like, you know, doing pictures, and I can use Adobe Photoshop and stuff like that. And um, I then decided to make myself a website. Um, and literally, uh, that's all I did. I went on to, you know, these, these website builders that you do yourself, and, um, you know, bought the, the actual name, put basically all of my stock onto that, and Bob's your uncle, there you go, got yourself a website. And um, it is a lot of work, it really is a lot of work, but it's really beneficial. And then what, what makes me happy is to know, especially around the Christmas time as well, that I'm supplying people and kids, you know, these, that they're Christmas presents and their birthday presents and that, and they're opening it up, and that's from me, you know? I know it's obviously from, you know, Marvel and all that lot, you know, where you, you, you get them from, but I've supplied that, and they bought it from me, and I really pride myself on, like, 100% customer satisfaction. I really do. If you go onto my eBay, Casper site, you'll see it's 100% 100 um, satisfaction, you know? So I like to keep it that way. And I'll do the same with the, with the website. The website is a lot harder to build than, like, eBay. Um, the website is a lot more marketing involved, um, you, know, uh, you know, sending out emails and getting subscribers to your, to your website and things like that. But um, yeah, so they're, they're, that's basically how you do it. Start small, build up on that, and it will snowball and escalate. But you've got to be on it. You've got to, you know, if you start missing like the post and stuff like that and, and dipping into your own sort of um, money, then you've had it. You've totally had it. Okay, so that's that one. Thank you for that. Uh, why do you only make scary games? This is from Pineapple. Right, okay, so... Do you know what? This, this oh, it niggles me sometimes, you know? It, it does niggle me because I didn't want this channel to be a horror channel. 
I really did not. But I, um, I love horrors, and I try to listen to you guys, okay? And when I get, can you play this next? Can you play this next? That was great. And you sort of like feed off of that. And, um, and I suppose, you know, you guys like the reactions that I go through, the pain that I go through. So I just kept on, kept on going with, with the horror. Now, I have qu I've mentioned quite a few times recently, especially on my streams, I'm going to be doing a lot more other types of games because I want to. Basically, that is it. I want to. Um, I love all types of games. Apart from games that you just walk and walk and walk and walk and then you find a sword. And then you walk and walk and walk and walk and then you have like something else. You, you pick up an arm clothing and you walk and walk. That just does my head in. Yeah, that really, I, I can't, these, these large areas, I know that they are massive and people love these games. I love them for about a week and then I just get tired of walking. I'm like For Forrest fucking Gump, just running around, walking, 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 that's all I'm doing. So I get tired of those games very quickly. Um, but uh, I can't even remember the bloody questions. Yeah, so, um, <laughs> scary games. So I don't mean to be doing so many scary games, but it's just I love them. It's like the movies, you know? I love scary movies. I like anything that gives you like a physical reaction to something. Now you can watch a good film, walk away and go, that was a bloody good film. But you can watch a film, like a, a scary film, and you'll get a physical reaction. It feels like you're getting your money's worth, you know? And, and the same with games. With horror games, you're like, oh my god, this is amazing. I can't believe the sensation that's going through my body because of this game. And, and that's why I'm, I am sort of drawn to horrors, because I do love that sensation. And, you know, and sometimes you might see me really, like, in panic mode and really not seeming like I'm enjoying the horrors and stuff, but I am. I am, especially when I take that off. I feel like I've accomplished something, you know? Um, but I will be doing a lot more different games because that's another side to me that you guys haven't seen and hopefully um, you'll enjoy it and um, you'll know that it's not all going to be that type, it'll be horror, it'll be a mix, it'll be quite an eclectic, uh, oh fuck me that was a good word, eclectic range of, of games. Okay, and especially when my broadband fiber optics on the 1st of December is coming because um, currently, as you guys, some of you guys know, it takes me for half an hour video about 27 hours to upload. 27 hours to upload. So that it is painful, it's really painful. So bear with us, bear with us, please. Okay, now I have got 10 questions from Arnold. Coconia. Wow. I'm going to go through them as quickly as I can. Right. So what are the specs of your PC? I don't know. I built it. I can't remember. But I wrote them down. So the specs of my PC are... Where have I got them here? Right. I've got a GeForce... Oh, I knew this. I've got a GeForce, a GTX 980. Yeah. And I've got 16 gigabytes of RAM. And the processor is an i7-6700K. So, basically, I went to a shop and I said, look, when I knew this VR was coming out, the Oculus Rift, I went, walked into the shop, I said, I want you to build me a beast. Just a fucking beast of a computer. Um, because I knew that the minimum specs were like a, a GTX 970. And I didn't want to go for the minimum specs. I did not want to do it. I wanted to future-proof it a little bit. And the processor was an i5, I think, or something like that. And I was like, no, get the i7. So he came up with this price for me. I was like, right, okay. So then I went away, did my own research. Um, basically copied what he told me. But then upped it a little bit. Up the, uh, up the, um, up the range, you know. He said I, uh, 970, I said 980. And I just save myself bulk loads of money. It's a bit of a gamble because I've never built a whole PC from scratch before. But sod it. I thought, let's do this. And um, yeah, and there you go. Um, so then with, with everything else, I've got the, um, the Blue Yeti. Uh, because originally my first videos were from my, my mobile phone. 
Um, so I've got the Blue Yeti microphone. I've got the um, the GoPro session camera, and that's pretty much it. And just a cheap ass like keyboard and mouse and stuff. That's all you need. I will be getting a new monitor, by the way, as well. So if you guys are seeing me doing streams and you see comments on the right-hand side, it's not going to be for too long. I will be getting another monitor so I can stretch your guys' comments on one side so you can see the full game. All right? Next one. Do you plan on doing a giveaway later in, fu in the future? Uh, yeah, absolutely. I will be doing giveaways. Um, I, I, I think, though, that for for me and for you guys it's more about the content um, I think that maybe some people use giveaways as something where they try to gain subscribers and views and stuff like that um, don't I could be totally wrong but for me to give I, I've thought about it already um, I've thought about giving some of my like my Marvel and DC stock you know um, because for me that would be it's a genuine gift that I want to give to somebody, yeah? So let's just say, I don't know, guys, if you can do whatever or send us some fan art, the best one will give you, I'll give you a, a Hulk figure, yeah? That, for me, is a legitimate gift because I really want to make you happy and I wouldn't want to, I don't want to be like, oh, I've, got, I've got a game down here somewhere, you know, or... Uh, and there you go, I have that game that I don't ever play and it was full of dust and it's a, like from the 1800s, you know? Um, that's just not my style. And the other thing is, guys, remember, this channel is really quite, you know, small at the moment. Um, hopefully it's going to get bigger, I'm sure it will. But it, it's also the financial side of things. I can't really, you know, the, the money that I've got is going to be going into games for you guys to see, Yeah. So if it was going to be a giveaway, it's probably going to be something with my, my stock, which I'd be more than happy. I'd never give away my stock if I wasn't happy about it. And, it, and that's, that's why I'd say it would be a genuine gift. Okay, um, got any kids? Do you want some? <laughs> no. Uh, got any kids? If so, how many? If not, do you plan on getting any? <laughs> getting any, just whipping down the shops. Uh, and just, if you've got a kid, please, probably around about three years old, you know. Now, I have got a child. He is eight years old. His name is Tyler, and he is everything to me. Everything. He doesn't live with me. He lives with my, um, well, his mum, my ex, um, and I get to, I try to get to see him every weekend, unless I'm working. You know, I have to work one weekend out of every four, uh, most of the time. So, um, and yeah, he he is absolutely everything to me. My 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 world revolves around him and my wife. Um, but yeah, so I do have, and also, um, my wife and I, we will be having kids, I'm sure, at some point in the future, definitely, that's what we want, I love, you know, I love kids, um, I love, I love being a dad, it is honestly one of the, the, the nicest feelings, and you can't explain it to anybody, unless they're actually a mum or a dad, and they wouldn't understand, you know, they understand, it is like, the, how I try to explain it, it's like having another limb it's like having another limb of you know or an organ and it's the one thing that you truly um, care about more than yourself truly without any hesitation yeah that's how I feel towards my boy Tyler uh, well, the next question if you would go back into time 1999 what is the one thing you would carry with you and why? That took me bloody ages to think. But then I thought, it's obvious, it's staring me in the face, man. 1999, I would take the VR back and just show people, look, the, look at this, man. Yeah, you sitting there watching your little TV and that. Check this fucking thing out, man. Put that on your head. Yeah, I mean, Christ. Going back to 1999, I mean, that was when I was just dreaming of one day virtual reality and how good it would be and everything like that. But to actually bring it back and say, look what I got, try this, that for me, me, I mean, you know, it would, it would change so much. And I think with that technology, what we have now would be even, even better. 
even better. You wouldn't have to put this shit on. You'd just, you'd just trip out and be in a different fucking VR world. It'd be absolutely amazing. So that's what I'd take back. Um, if you would be a character in a game, who would you be? Why? And which game? Okay. Um, so what character would I be? Um, again, this took me bloody ages. Straight away I was thinking, what character could fly? Because I'd just love to fly. But I thought, okay, now let's be real. Because then you're going down the superheroes, and it's not really classified as a game, is it? Yeah, I know they do superhero games, but... But for me, it's got to be something like Splinter Cell, or... You know, or what's the other one? Metal Gear Solid. Someone who's just fucking hardcore, yeah? Because I love all that stealth stuff, like the ninja stealth... Yeah, so I would be the dude, yeah, it would be Splinter Cell, because I love that, you know, with the night vision stuff, and just hiding in the shadows, like Batman, yeah, and just sort of like, seeing someone, taking people out, and just being just really hardcore, and yeah, that that's who I'd be, absolutely, change the world, save save the world, you know. Okay, which has to be your favourite VR and non-VR game at the moment? Okay, so right now I'm playing, which I haven't done any videos of, is um, the, the Solace or the Solus Project, the Solace Project in VR. That game is absolutely amazing. You can find it on Steam. Um, you're basically on this planet and you've got to survive. Um, you you know you've literally um, and there's so many different elements of the game. One second it could be boiling hot, uh, boiling hot. End of sentence. And you've got to find water because you're overheating. So you find water and you drink that and you cool down. Then it could be snowing and you've got to find shelter and you get a shelter and you've got to make a fire and stuff. And you can teleport. You've got this machine. You can teleport to different places. And then you, you have to investigate different sounds. It turns out it's like an alien planet that you're on. And the graphics and everything. And the sounds are so good. Uh, the atmosphere. You really feel like you're there. So that game is by far the best VR game that I've been playing so far lately. Absolutely. Hands down. Um, Non-VR, I would say I'm having massive fun on Gears of War. Yeah, the new Gears of War, which I've been streaming lately. I love that game. And also, on the Xbox One, I've been playing Plants vs. Zombies 2. I know it's a fun game to play, you know, it's a, but, you know, I, I, I passed that to, to my boy, Tyler, um, to, to, to have a go. And I felt myself saying, oh, can you get past that bit, Tyler? Let me, let me try, and I'll be like, yeah, yeah, he's like, dad, dad, I'm like, yeah, okay, okay. Can you get past that bit, Tyler? Let me just try, and of course, when he goes to bed and that, I'm just on it, you know, and I, it's bloody brilliant, that game. Um, are you an Apple fan or an Android fan and why? I haven't got a clue what those two mean. Apple, that's iPhone. And Android, I, what's, what's the di I don't even know what the difference is. They're both phones. One's an iPhone and one, what's Android? Is this an Android? I've got the S7 Edge, is it? That's, that's what I got. It's new. It's bloody brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Love it. And it's the only phone, when I went into the phone shop, I was just like drawn like a moth to a flame, I was like, oh, it's so beautiful, and um, yeah, so I got, shit, I got that, um, so yeah, I don't really know what the difference is, is it something to do with the apps, I, I mean, I've had an iPhone before, and at the time, I thought, I love this, love it, but then the, the battery started going real quick and stuff like that, and the apps, right? I don't know, but so right there, if that's an Android, I like Androids. What has to be your best virtue? Okay, very good question. And again, I sort of struggle to think about something here. Um, I would say my 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 wife says it's a weakness, not a weakness, but no, she says it's actually a strength. I'll take that right back. She says it's a strength, and she wishes she could be more like it. I would say, for me, it is the ability to forgive people um, and understand why uh, other people's point of views and stuff. Where, I don't know, you know what it's like sometimes with family members or friends or something like that. Someone says something or pisses you off, 
you know, you, you have a knee-jerk reaction and you get sort of upset and that. And then sometimes I will try to see the other person's point of view. And sometimes if someone upsets my, my wife, I will, I will support her and I'll, I'll listen to her going on. And then, but then I'll say, but what it could be, it's just that she's just this and she's just that. And well, I can see my missus just going, <laughs> yeah, because she knows she wants support, you know. And I can't, I can't do that because I try to, I try to um, resolve it because I don't think anybody out there, I mean, there's certain people out there that are quite malicious. Um, but we all have bad days. I mean, I've had some shit thrown at me in my life. You know, some really, some people have done some really horrible things to me. And I've been hurt really bad, like, you know, a lot of us out there. And um, even now, and I try sometimes to hate people. I try to really uh, just not associate myself with them. But I can't. I can't help it, you know, because I, after a while, I just think, yeah, well, you know, it could have been because of this and because of that. So I try to understand both sides of things. So understanding and, and maybe forgiving is probably one of my best virtues yeah um, and my occupation right now all I can say I have to be sort of careful here all I can say is I'm a branch manager that's all I can say I'm afraid uh, when it comes to that and the final question because this is going on a bit will I do merchandise that is from Riley Cullen merchandise definitely without a doubt I would love to do merchandise I, it was one of those things where I just thought would you guys want it? And then I was, I was speaking about it on a stream and people were like, Shh, yeah, yeah, we would love that. So I, I'll ask more of you. Would you like to have merchandise? I'll do merchandise, you know, a couple of t-shirts, let's shit a brick and stuff like that. I'll do that. Um, but obviously it'd be like supply and demand. I think if only a few, a few people wanted it, I just probably wouldn't bother until the, the channel got quite big. Um, and then I, but it's definitely something that I would do. I'd love to. Man, just imagine that walking down the street and someone's got your own, you got your T-shirt, having a cup of coffee, and someone's got a mug with you. I mean, that'd be fucking unreal, man. And, and and this is the other reason why I'm loving this YouTube because, like I say to you, I'm a big show off, absolute big show off. I've always been like it. In school, I was the class clown, always trying to make people laugh, wanting to be the centre of attention and things like that. You know, I'm being brutally honest here. Yeah, if you ask any of the YouTubers. And they say, oh, did you do it for any sort of like, you know, um, like maybe fame or t to get recognised or something. And then, like, no, 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 it's just purely for other people, just to make them laugh. I don't care about me. I, you know, bullshit. That's bullshit. Yeah? It, um, you, you would... Uh, there's probably one or two people out there. Let me just backtrack a bit. I'll digress a little bit. There's probably a couple of people out there that really don't want, and this is maybe their way of expressing themselves. Absolutely, I get that. But I'm not going to beat around the bush. From the a a very young age, I've been, a, like I say, a class clown, joking around, unfortunately not really paying attention in school, um, and just trying to... Yeah, again, make people laugh and smile. And when I see that, it makes me feel good. Yeah? When you're happy, I'm happy. That's what I say to my missus. When you're happy, I'm happy. So, um, yeah, I mean, for me, to see that and, and uh, people with merchandise and, and, and buying it would make me feel so good that you, you guys are, like, supporting me as well. So, um, you know, I just want... That, that's the end of the questions, but I just wanted to use this opportunity to again thank you guys I know that maybe you know I've opened up to a little bit there and I'm not one of these people that hide or try to tell you something that I think that you might want to hear I'll tell you how it is okay and I'll always do that and I'll always be myself because right now this is working being myself this is working and you know the, the times where you guys and it's not, it, it could be the smallest of words, the smallest of sentences, yeah? And when you guys respond to me and, and you give me comments and likes and shares, and it's the comments, really, that I, I really like to, to see. It just makes me want to push and, and do better and get more videos out and, and, and things like that. 
I really want this channel to grow massively. And the other thing that I'm really liking at the moment is, especially I can see it and I can sense it on, uh, on the streams, is that you guys are interacting with each other and talking to each other and building a community. It's fucking amazing. It really is good. I love it. Um, yeah, so I can't wait till this channel grows even bigger than it is. Um, I'll, I am prepared to go all the way with this thing. Absolutely all the way. Yeah? I, I'm loving it. My missus supports me 100%. And if I could drop all other work and everything like that and solely focus on this, not to say I don't like my work, yeah, I really love my work, just get it in there. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. No, I do love my work and they've treated me so well. I've been with them for like seven years um, and I, I can't complain. And it's very rare to be in a job where, you know, you, you can say that. However, this for me is my passion. I love it. Just love it. You know, I'm going on a bit. Anyway, thank you for watching. I hope to see more comments and, and whatever and likes and, and shares and see on streams and remember 1st of December, okay, is fiber optics, the uploads are going to be quicker, the streams are going to be better quality and there's going to be more videos obviously. So um, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye bye.